Daddy, you know the hospital said if they have to pump my stomach one more time, it's the foster home for me. <laughs> Very funny, baby. My girl Celeste is stopping by on the way to work, so I thought I'd surprise her with her favorite, Huevos Ranchettos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, flex makes style. I've seen this setup before. The rolls, the eggs, the hot sauce. Uh-uh, it's day 29. This is a breakup breakfast. Save the garnish for her broken heart, okay? Girl, what are you talking about? Daddy, you never date the same woman for longer than one month because that would make it a relationship. And you like your relationships like you like your eggs. Over easy. You know, that is not true. What about Tanya? Tanya and I were together for months. No, you only dated for one month. And then she hung around long enough for the free food and direct TV. Oh, uh, and that's not a relationship? Daddy, just let Celeste down easy. You know, dental hygienists are very sensitive. Why you think she keep giving me flaws? <laughs> Sweetie, believe me, you are so wrong about this. <laughs> Rihanna, here, I brought you some floss. That's so thoughtful and hygienic. You know what, girl, I got something for you. Just because. <laughs> uh, thank you, Brianna. Uh, okay, Brianna, sweetie, have a good day at school now. <laughs> well, you know, some people have better days than others. Mm -hmm. Oh, Celeste. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> is that huevos rancheros I smell? Uh, yes, it is. Mm, mm -hmm. You are mm -hmm. so sweet. Oh, I may be sweet, but my huevos is <laughs> high. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we've been dating a month. Hey, you know what? My cousin's wedding's this weekend. My family's dying to meet you. We're going, okay? But th th this weekend? Oh, ba baby, that's this weekend. You know what? This, this weekend's bad, because this is the weekend that I, I'm, I'm, I moved to France. Sometimes in this life, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't trust no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody. show our work in a real gallery, so this has to be perfect. So you might want to get a real artist. <laughs> <laughs> that was not funny. <laughs> I'm just kidding, sweetie. I thought you wanted to be an actress. Well, like Miss Clark says, don't be held down by one dream. We women are multifaceted. A woman with only one dream is a man. <laughs> oh, so I see. Uh, Miss Clark is one of those man-haters. No, she's a womanist. A woman who supports other women. Ah, so she's an ugly woman. <laughs> okay, you know what? Just for that, I'm putting in your razor bumps. Yeah, this is an interesting change of pace. You defending your teachers. I mean, what's next? A black dude on Friends? Yo, Chandler, holler at me. Hit me on the two-way. <laughs> okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna need some more clay. I underestimated the size of your head. <laughs> oh. Flex, flex. I did it. I feel like a new man. <laughs> I decided to move out of my mama's house. Really? Man, it seems like last week you just turned 33. Oh, hold on, it was 34. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, dog. <laughs> I'm a grown man. The time has come for Dwayne Odell Knox to, to strike out on his own. <laughs> Plus, if I don't move out, my mama's gonna keep interrupting my basement boogie. <laughs> I can picture that. Dwayne, you better tell your friend to cover up. I'm gonna have to come down there and join y'all. <laughs> Rihanna! Wonderful use of the medium. It's very reminiscent of early Rodin. That big bird that fought Godzilla? <laughs> Actually, I was talking about a different Rodin, but that Rodin made quite an impression on Tokyo. <laughs> and I see someone's making quite an impression on you. You're giving all your power away with your eyes. I'm sorry, it's just that I'm so weak for him. What's wrong with me? Nothing's wrong with you. What's going on, Brianna? Well, it's just that I have a thing for Arnez, but he likes this girl with big... You know. <laughs> big Botticelli's? Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Honey, you're talking about a 16-year-old boy. When you get older, you'll find... Well, not that much changes. <laughs> you are an amazing person. And someday, he's gonna recognize that. Well, I hope you're right. Oh, can I ask you about one more thing that's been bothering me? Of course. Should I stuff? Yeah, work for me. <laughs> Spirit, did you make that dress out of duct tape? Anybody can make a dress out of fabric. But Miss Clark says for the art show, I should think outside of the box. I don't think she meant the trash box. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think about my piece? Oh, wait a minute. That's Brianna's head. And that's Ginger's body. Ooh, Ginger got some jacked up feet. No, no, actually, those are yours. <laughs> I wanted your cash you told us to balance out all that beauty. Well, these nutty toes can still kick your squirrely butt. <laughs> Listen, women's bodies have been the subject of great art for centuries. Now, as artists and as human beings, we have got to have respect for the beauty of the female form. Amen. I mean. Now, Arnaz. Yes, Miss Clark? What is it you feel when you look at this piece? I, I feel as though I have to respect those beautiful boobies. <laughs> Man, Flex, you should have seen the place my realtor showed me today. Man. 4,000 a month, and I got a view of the park, a view of the city, a view of the poorhouse. <laughs> then you gotta find something a little more reasonable, something more comfortable, you know, somewhere you can uh, afford. Yeah, I know, Flex. I'm just so excited about being out on my own, you know, I get carried away. Yeah, you're right. I gotta be responsible. That's right. You know, I gotta be mature. Mm -hmm. Gotta be an adult. I gotta, oh my God, boobies! <laughs> This is my artwork. How would you like someone to deface yours? Ah! Hi. Hi. You know, uh, it, it looks a lot better if you squint your eyes all the way shut and turn around. <laughs> so you don't like it? I, I don't blame the kids. I blame the teacher. Oh, really? Well, I heard she's pretty good. Yeah, I'm not one to gossip, but uh, this teacher sounds like one of those Feminists. Even worse, she calls herself a womanist. Mm -hmm. That's French for ugly. No. Oh, they're the worst. I mean, she's probably filling your daughter's head with outrageous ideas like equal rights, self-respect. I bet she doesn't even shave under her arms. <gasps> you know, and she probably wears flannel shirts and combat boots. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And a buzz cut. Oh. <laughs> okay, stop. You're scaring me. <laughs> uh oh, don't worry. I'll protect you, little lady. Oh, would you kind, sir? Because I'm just a vulnerable, mm -hmm. helpless, mm -hmm. defenseless mm -hmm. art teacher. Hi, I'm Miss Clark. Uh, 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 uh hi, hi, I'm Coop Jones. I'm, 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 I'm Spirit's father. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you have to fear her, I understand. I told her, hit the books, hit the books. <laughs> nice try, Mr. Washington. I've seen you on TV, and I know you're Brianna's father. <laughs> Call me Flex, and I, I was just kidding about what I said earlier. <laughs> my daughter's crazy about you. You're a favorite teacher. Well, I can't tell you what a pleasure it is having Brianna in my class. She is a talented artist with a promising future. My Brianna? <laughs> have you seen this potato she's passing off as my head? <laughs> so, your head's big and lumpy. Embrace it! think about it. Oh, I think she likes me. Daddy, Miss Clark is not like the women you usually date. She's different. When she wears jewelry with her name on it, it's a fashion, not a reminder. Hey, that's for me and them. It's hard remembering everybody's name. But, Dad, do you know how embarrassing it would be for me if you started dating one of my teachers? I, I mean, I can hear it now. Hey, yo, y'all. Brianna, Daddy is flat happy, Miss Clark. Okay, Brianna, I hear you. Daddy, seriously, stay away from Miss Clark. I, I got better things to do than to flirt with your teacher. <laughs> hey, Miss Clark. Hey, Lumpy. <laughs> Look, I, I think we got out to a bad start. By calling me an ugly French woman in combat boots? Ah, we got up to a great start. <laughs> Look, I, I, I'm not one of those uh, 
Manist. <laughs> Whew, rough crab, rough crab. Uh, maybe I can uh, make you laugh over dinner sometime. Charming, Mr. Washington. Call me Flex. Mr. Washington. Ta 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 ta. Flex. <laughs> I make it a policy never to date my students' fathers. <laughs> you know, I've seen some of those fathers. That's a good policy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the ugly French woman laughs. <laughs> okay, all right, so you don't date fathers. What if we call it a parent-teacher conference over lobster and champagne? Uh, unfortunately, Mr. Washington, I learned the hard way. I should never mix my professional life with my personal life. All right, I respect that. But what if we just happen to be in the same place at the same time? Oh, say, uh, I don't know, Jaffe's at uh, 8 o'clock Saturday night. I would call that more of a coincidence than a date, wouldn't you? You don't give up, do you, Flex? Da 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 da. Mr. Washington. <laughs> you are charming. Uh -huh. Daddy, you couldn't help yourself, could you? You had to go over there and flirt with Miss Clark. No, see, she was, you know, what happened is what she, she, Okay, she wasn't interested. No, no, she just treated me like I was a, a Dwayne. <laughs> oh, boobies. So, would you like to order something since it appears that your lady friend isn't going to make it? Oh, no, 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 she, she's gonna make it. She's just being uh, fashionably late. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'll get you another basket of free bread. Yeah. Oh, good news. Your lady friend has just arrived. Hi, Daddy. What's the matter? You were expecting Miss Clark? Uh, well, I, uh, uh, see, free bread. <laughs> so, are we gonna order here? Sure, I'll have the lobster and he'll have the crow. Brianna, what are you doing here? Well, Spirit overheard you asking Miss Clark out, and I knew she wouldn't show up because of her policy. Besides, she's not the one to fall for your charming potato head ways. Did she say that? She never mentioned you, Dad. Oh, so you just came down here to gloat. Oh, no, I just wanted to come down here and say I told you so. Oh, yeah, which reminds me, I told you so. You know, it's moments like these that make me realize you're your mama's daughter. Dad, do not be upset because you got caught up in your own web of lies and deceit, okay? This happens to the best of players. Let's just face it, Miss Clark is out of your league. Oh, <laughs> sweetie, I am a single, good-looking, well-paid brother. I am the league. <laughs> The league MVP. <laughs> so, uh, if given a chance, I could woo your Miss Clark. Handle that right there. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. You woo Miss Clark? Uh, I don't think so. I love you, Daddy, but you just can't make that happen. Ooh! Is that a challenge? Hmm, let me think. Yeah? <laughs> Oh, all right, baby girl. See, uh, you run with the big dogs, you gonna get bit. Ten. All right, you're on. She's hosting a show at the gallery tomorrow, and we can go down there and watch you crash and burn, Daddy-o. Daddy-o? Well, you throwing woo around. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, you broke out the Burberry. <laughs> <laughs> Women, hide your daughters. Flax is on the loose. <laughs> Man, she better have some serious insurance because she's about to get smit 10. <laughs> and the funny thing is, I like her because she's making me bring out my A game. All right, speaking of A game, I got to get A1 credit. Finally found my 40 acres and a mule. Oh, congratulations, <laughs> man. <laughs> Thanks. Actually, it's only 600 square feet, but I'm gonna hang a picture of a mule up in the bathroom. Oh, uh, my new landlord is running a credit check. So when he calls, you might answer in the phone, United Bank of Baltimore? Yeah, great. And remember, I have 150K in Swiss francs. Uh, should I use my English accent? Oh, cheers, mate. I'd expect nothing less. Well, uh, Tom. Uh, Daddy, why do you have all that cologne on? You smell like Grandpa when he's going to the racetrack. To woo a womanist, you must think like a womanist. Now watch me womanize. <laughs> Like all expressionist painters, Mike Kroll depicts subjective emotions, not objective reality. That's obviously the man painted that. 
Look, the whole piece lacks the sophistication and tenderness of a woman. Okay. <laughs> way to woo, Dad, way to woo. Now, if you'll turn your attention to this wall. In this painting by Susan Holcomb, we have a beautiful example of a style known as photorealism. I see her female reality, a world void of war and hate. I feel fresh just looking at it. I really do. Paint me a bra and I'll burn it. <laughs> How about I paint you a muzzle? Kinky. <laughs> uh, you know what, Dad? I think I'm gonna go clean off my shoes. I think I stepped in some of your woo. <laughs> Abstract expressionists like Ted Van Cleve explore color and shape rather than specific subjects. Only a man would be interested in something as trite as shape. But here's a subject worth exploring. Have dinner with me. Flex, I'm working here. <laughs> Not as hard as I am. <laughs> I'm afraid we're gonna have to stop. Thanks to our many interruptions, we're out of time and patience. Thank you, come again. Ah, so, uh, I see you're off now. <laughs> Flex, what was your plan? To come down here and nag me into a date? No, if it's working, yes. <laughs> did you hear anything I said about the artwork? And of course I did. I watched every move. OK, if you're so interested in what I do, tell me about that painting. It's nice. <laughs> you are so deep, Mr. Washington. Good night. Oh, here we go again with the Mr. Washington. What do you want me to say? It's not about what I want you to say. It's about what you feel. What, do you want me to tell you how brilliant the artist is? I mean, it looks like a child did this. OK, what else? I mean, the colors are all over the place. Like he was in a rush to do it, or, or he couldn't make up his mind. Go on. <laughs> what do you want from me? I, the guy was either confused or angry. Maybe not angry at all. Maybe in love. Maybe in pain. Maybe in pain because of love. Wow. Wow. You really get it. How'd you do that? <laughs> you did it. You finally shut your mouth and opened your mind. <laughs> Brandon's right. You're an excellent teacher. Are you still flirting with me? No, no, that was from the heart. I meant that. Too bad. I was hoping you were flirting. Why, Miss Clark, what about your policy? <laughs> Forget the policy. I will be once I gouge my eyes out. Rihanna. OK, I know what happened. Uh, you tripped and landed on his lips, right? Not exactly. You, you teacher kisser! Natalie, could you give us a moment alone, please? I hope you're not too disappointed in me, Brianna. But I can't believe you fell for his act. You're a womanist. You're right, I am. And a true womanist is a real woman. And honey, I need a man. <laughs> I hope you understand. Daddy, I don't want Miss Clark to end up being another one of your 30-day girls. She's more than a teacher to me. She's my friend. And I don't want you to hurt her. Ho, ho, ho. Bree, I don't start dating someone with the intention of hurting them. Really? Because that's what seems to always happen. And not always. I've been hurt, too, you know? Yeah, right. Name one time. Your mother and me. Now, we may not get along now, but I did love her. I still do. I mean, it's different. Daddy. Brianna, relationships are hard. And maybe that's why I don't like to get in them. Then why get in the one with Miss Clark? <sighs> I don't know. I admit, I, I got all caught up in the chase. I mean, she's hot. <laughs> See, I knew it. But, <sighs> sweetie, tonight she showed me things in a whole new light. She forced me to be real. And when it comes to women, that's not something that's easy for me. Maybe I think it's worth exploring. Well, I still don't like it, but I guess I can't stop you. Don't worry, baby. I won't disappoint you. You better not. I know where you live. <laughs> Girl, you better go ahead. <laughs> Surprise! 
I mean, isn't this great? I mean, we're best friends. We're living across the hall from each other. Man, it doesn't get any better than this, does it? <laughs> when you got all this ready-made cuteness. <laughs> Speaking of fast food, look what Arnez picked up at the drive-thru. I'll talk to you later, Valencia. Bye. Valencia, she's named after an orange. Oh, she looks fresh squeezed. <laughs> the spirit is okay. Arnez and I are just friends. Right. He can go out with any fruit that he wants to. <laughs> Thanks, but I think I might be moving on to vegetables. Hey, pumpkin. Oh, to Brianna. Hair dark and lovely. Skin Neutrogena. I know in my heart, I need you like Aquafina. A glance of you is never enough. That Victoria's Secret body, man, it's for a tub. Sign me. Oh, girl, you got a secret admirer. Oh, I wonder who it could be. I don't know, but we know one thing. You watch a lot of commercials. <laughs> Sometimes it's not. You can feel all my When there's nobody around uh, oh yeah. I'll be there to think and then Why don't you love where you're from? Maybe you can get some more Maybe one on one uh, One uh, on yeah. one Can't nobody break this bond Maybe one on one Let's just be good Now we have a fun One on one Yeah, yeah. One on one Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 And Alec Iverson proved once again that he's the toughest little man on the court Nothing short of brilliant. Holly? Ooh, let's dish. After the game, Ivy got a new heart tattoo. Does he have a new boo? Me thinks love is in the air. Love has nothing to do with sports. What if it's tennis, Flexi Doodle? Each game starts love, love, just like you and me. That's all for tonight's Flex Files. Flat app. Holly, Holly! Are we out yet? Thank you. Now then, please, someone take out the trash. She's stinking up my show. Oh, please, Flex. Your show was fairly pungent before I got here. That's why management brought me in. I'm the Sancho Panza to your Don Quixote. No, you're more like the donkey to my Don Quixote. <laughs> Thanks, Shiz. Ooh. Oh, it's a fax from Geraldine. Oh. Apparently, our producer took time out from vacationing on Liposuction Island to send us something. Yeah. Jerry's landed WYNX an exclusive with former NFL running back Eric Dickerson. <gasps> you know, the word is he's been offered a coaching position with a Division I school. Exactly, but he's being real tight-lipped about this one. And if I can break this story, it'll get picked up nationally. Hmm! What would the irritatingly effervescent Holly wear national? <gasps> I know. Daisy Dukes and Gucci boots! <laughs> That Baywatch reject comes all up in my space talking about what's how they gonna wear national? How about a noose? <laughs> Flex, please. I know you're under a lot of stress, but in a couple hours, I'm going under the knife and donating a kidney to my father in a county hospital. Oh, but I'm sorry, please, continue with your drama. <laughs> I'm done. Dwayne, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you doing this for me. Nah, uh, don't worry about it, Pop. But we're square for the next couple Christmases. <laughs> All right. Anyways, any surgery comes with some risk. Dwayne, so, everything's gonna be fine. I'm not worried. Now, are we done? <laughs> um, I just have one small presentation. <laughs> Good evening. And if this syndicates, buenas noches. <laughs> You are watching the last will and testament of one Dwayne Odell Knox. I, being of sound mind and body, do bequeath. Uh, this is ridiculous, Dwayne. Everything is gonna be all right. Now, back to me. Who do you like better, me or Holly? So, I question the guys at school and nothing. So I'm thinking your secret admirer must be Winky the janitor. Or I'm gonna go out on a limb and say Miss Kaufman, the gym teacher. Whoever it is, they didn't include a picture, so we know they're ugly. 
And we all know Miss Kaufman is not cute. Oh, flowers? For me? Oh, thank you so much. Now, wait out in the hall and I'll get you a tip. Secret admirer. <laughs> Read the card while I take care of the delivery guy. Hey, your secret admirer spells your name wrong. Biana. <laughs> what an idiot! <laughs> <laughs> idiot? <laughs> the name is Brianna, and I specifically asked for roses. How are some tired carnations gonna convince him that I too can have someone hot for me? No tip for you. <laughs> Thanks for coming in, Eric. Let's get started. Uh, this is just a little pre-interview, you know what I'm saying? I don't like to ambush my guests. That way, we're both prepared. Okay, let's get started. But before I forget, don't ask me anything about where I'm going to be coaching. I'm still working out the details of my deal. Oh, got it. Got it, got it. So since you retired from the NFL, you've been doing color commentary from the sidelines. And uh, has Michigan State offered you a coaching job yet? <laughs> and uh, how's your golf game? <laughs> He doesn't want to talk about boring things like his golf game. He wants to talk about fun stuff. <laughs> like my girlfriend, Susan Watsonabi, said that you dated Miss Michigan. How'd you like your slopes? Well, uh... I just back off, Holly. No one's interested in hearing Susan Watsonabi's gossip and, and, and Miss Michigan's slopes. Well, they were man-made. <laughs> Enough! Look, Holly, I've never heard such such blatant, mindless dribble. Who am I, Flex? In 1984, you rushed 2,105 yards. Somebody oil me. Look, I am trying to do a real sports show. The Flex Files, not Holly's Hooters. I'd watch that show. Thank you. I'm gonna let you two work this out. Just ask me the rest of the questions. <sighs> you see what I'm talking about, Holly? Huh? You see what you did? When are you going to learn that you being here is not an asset, it's a liability? It looks like somebody's not keeping abreast of the S&P. <laughs> I've taken you from penny stock to blue chip without any exorbitant commission. This is our shtick, Flex. You do the sports, I'm the entertainment. The Flex Files is not entertainment. It's information that entertains. It's infotainment. <laughs> Flex, like it or not, you need me. No, the peroxide companies need you to stay in business. So, uh, like your ends, I'm gonna split. You'll swing me by the plastic surgery ward tomorrow so I can get some after pictures, right? Hey, man, come on, don't tell me you ain't even a little curious to see how that woman's tummy tuck turned out. They have a surgery for that? I just tucked my extra tummy into my belt. <laughs> so, what's your name? Dwayne. You're pulling my IV. My name's Dwayne, too. Huh. Man, I hate hospitals. Man, they really creep me out. You know people die here? People are also born here. Yeah, but people also die here. People are also born here. You know what? We're not getting anywhere. <laughs> Besides, we're both Dwayne's, and nothing bad ever happens to Dwayne's. So what are you in for? Oh, I'm getting a kidney transplant. Get out! Man, I'm giving a kidney. How about that? Two Dwayne's in the same hospital, same room, one to give a kidney, one to get a kidney. What are the odds of that? Huh. huh. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, hey daddy. daddy. <laughs> you just called my daddy daddy. No, you just called my daddy daddy. Daddy, daddy who is this? Hey, don't, don't call, call him daddy. daddy. Stop, stop doing that. that. No, you stop doing that. Daddy! <laughs> so they put you in the same room before the operation. Why is he calling you daddy, daddy? Boys, this is all very complicated. You two are half-brothers. Well, now that I say it, it sounds rather simple. <laughs> but simple, it's sick. You even gave us the same name, man. What kind of George Foreman madness is this? I made sure the names were spelled differently. Duane and Dwayne. Daddy. You told me you were getting my kidney from a brother. Not my brother. Now it all makes sense. That's why you weren't there the day I got my blood test. That's why you disappeared when I was getting admitted. Listen, son. Z. Oh. The reason I didn't come clean about everything at first was because I thought it would be too much for you to handle all at once. So let me get this straight. 
If your new son didn't need your old son's kidney, you never would have come looking for me. Son, like I told you before, when I found out you were looking for me, I wanted to meet you. But then when this happened to Dwayne, I had to find you, Dwayne. <laughs> Maybe I'm going about this the wrong way. I should have listened to Dwayne's mother. Oh, oh, so you didn't abandon his mother? Well, oh, let me guess, you guys got a, a white picket fence, a dog, and you live by Disneyland. Uh, uh, no, actually, uh, we have an iron fence with a cat, and we live in a little cul-de-sac by SeaWorld. <laughs> now, all this time, I thought you lived here in Baltimore. No, we just moved. And we're expecting a second child. That's why his mom's not here. Well, my mom would have been here, but, but she knew that you were going to be here. You with your perfect life and your perfect house near performing fish. <laughs> Daddy, I I'm kind of cold. Could you, could you hand me that blanket over there? Okay, son. Dwayne? Yes. Dwayne? Yes. Not you, boy. <laughs> like dreadlock homes <laughs> because i enjoy solving mysteries in my spare time that and it's laundry day <laughs> anyway i'm on to you it took me a while but i've cracked the case of the mysterious secret admirer uh what you've cracked is your head <laughs> it's you you're your own secret admirer yes it was all in the first clue the poem you spoke of neutrogena and dark and lovely two of your favorite beauty products I don't know what you were talking about. <laughs> oh, no. You mentioned Victoria's Secret, which is somewhere you've always wanted to shop, but your father won't let you. It's not true, I say. It's not true. <laughs> Explain the Ford reference. <laughs> what do you think I am, an amateur? I remembered in history class you said your favorite president was Gerald Ford. He was so clumsy and misunderstood. <laughs> The question is why, Brianna Barnes, why? I love him, I hate him, I love him, I hate him. Oh, I bit my tongue. <laughs> Look, I thought if I can fool Arnez into believing that I had a secret admirer, it might convince him that I moved on too. And I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you and your Olsen twin videos. Hey. Hey. Well, I'm sure Dwayne's in surgery right now. Think I can call him on the cell phone? Daddy, can you go one day without talking to him? Not this day. Today, I need my little buddy. Well, I'm here. You can talk to me. I appreciate that, but this is adult stuff. You know, it's all too complicated. Oh, Snickers. <laughs> OK, Daddy, I'll leave you with your adult problems. <laughs> OK, it's like this. I don't want to share the flex files with Holly. Those are my files. I filed them myself. Ask me what's in them. Go ahead, ask me what's in them. Daddy. She don't know. I Daddy. know. <laughs> Daddy, look. I'm a cheerleader. Do you think I enjoy sharing the spotlight with eight other girls? Even if I am the cutest, and I am. <laughs> look, you can't build a pyramid by yourself. I think I know what you're saying. Sometimes it takes a team to do something really exciting. That's exactly what I'm saying. Be willing to share the spotlight. But darn it, make sure you're the cutest. <laughs> hey. hey, listen up. Oh, I guess you can't because you're sleeping. <laughs> But, um, I, I can't go through with this. I mean, I, I know you're a great kid and all, but, but this is just too much for me. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm gonna say goodbye. And I'm gonna take your pudding cup. <laughs> and, uh, slide it closer to you. Here you go. <laughs> oh, it's you. I'm just gonna get my things and get out of your life for good. And by things, I mean my kidneys. Please. I know I've disappointed you again. And I'm sorry again. I could have told you the truth earlier, but I just didn't want my second son to be punished 
for the way I mistreated my first. Yeah, Dad. You have mistreated me. I mean, I don't need a kidney, but I've never felt more pain than I'm feeling right now. I I've been lied to, deceived, and almost cut open. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind if you were a complete stranger, but you're my dad. But I'm also his dad. And all the things I did wrong for you, I tried to do right for him. I taught him how to ride a bike. I helped him with his homework. I talked to him about girls. <laughs> did you ever uh, pop caps with a hammer? <laughs> or uh, burn ants with a magnifying glass? Ooh, ooh, did you ever have him use crotches so you can get a better parking space at the ballpark? <laughs> Just uh, some of the things I wanted to do with you. No, I never got a chance to do those things. And son, if you don't help him, I may never get that chance. Hey, yo, Dad. The crutches thing sounds pretty fun. <laughs> you think we can do it? I don't know, Dwayne. Can we, Dwayne? I, well, I don't know. I, Can my little brother come? <laughs> Thank you, son. Well, let me go get the doctor and get this show on the road. So, uh, let me make sure I got everything straight here, Eric. Uh, you can still run a 4840. You love working with young athletes, and I'm sorry I can't read my handwriting. What school did you say you'd be coaching at? Flex, I told you, I can't talk about any coaching possibilities. Oh, come on, E, this is big news. We're talking about being one of only five black coaches at Division I schools. Sorry, Flex, I'm not talking. Nah, I can't break you, huh? You're a tough nut to crack. <laughs> How about something lighter? Holly? Yes, class? <laughs> Time for a little sh You're off size, Mr. Dickerson. <laughs> Let's dish. My girlfriend, Susan Watanami, her aunt's cousin said that she saw you shopping at Saks buying fur coats. <gasps> True or false? True. I like to look good. Oh, I like to stay fly myself, player. <laughs> Keep going, Holly. We also heard you spent the weekend on Mackinac Island. Yeah, getting your Mac on. <laughs> I was not there getting my Mac on. <laughs> so, you were there on business then? Hmm, what business would be on Mackinac Island? Mm. Ice fishing? <laughs> Me thinks not. <laughs> I even heard you were there with three very attractive ladies learning how to cross-country ski. Susan Watanami says you have very powerful thighs. Ooh, she's right. Hmm, fur coat, cross-country skiing on Mackinac Island. What do these things have in common? Sounds to me like somebody's getting ready to move to Michigan. You're gonna coach the Spartans, come on. Yeah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> Let's go, Eric. <laughs> Congratulations, Eric. <laughs> You heard it here first on the Flex Files. Flat app and... Holly Honda! <laughs> Sports Illustrated's gonna kill me. I'm supposed to give them an exclusive. Oh, don't worry about it. Tell them to give me a call. I'll give them a quote. <laughs> <laughs> See? What did I tell you, Flex? We're a great team. <sighs> yes, we are. But I am the quarterback of this team, and you are the kicker at best. <laughs> All right. I'll sit on the sidelines for now. But watch out, because when it comes time to win the big game, this kicker kicks butt. Yeah. Ow! Ow, leg cramp! Oh, I'm sorry, the kicker can't kick it? No. Holly, help her? Yeah. Come on. Ah, oh, looks like your mystery guy struck again. My dearest Brianna, it is with a broken heart that I must end our relationship. Please do not take this as cliche, but it was I who was not right for you. It was I who didn't deserve you. It was I who It's just... over. <laughs> Lots of love, bye-bye. It just wasn't meant to be. Forget him, Brianna. If this guy was too scared to show his face, he's probably ugly anyway. <laughs> I gotta run. Come on now, Brianna. I thought you were done with the secret admirer stuff. But I didn't do this. 
from your other secret admirer. What? Who? You know what? Y'all get on my nerves. <laughs> our pumpkins, egged our windows, put shaving cream on our front door. Yesterday was the worst Halloween ever. <laughs> hey, remember last year when you dressed up as a piñata and all those little kids beat you until candy came out of you? That was funny. <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing. Because an uneventful Halloween means the phenomena of four is upon us. Don't you want to know what that means? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> My grandmother is from the old country. She's from Harlem. The old country. <laughs> anyway, legend has it that if an uneventful Halloween should come to pass, four horrible events will befall the innocent. Wait, now when your grandmother told you this, was she befalling down drunk? <laughs> Girl, please, Halloween is over. Nothing bad is gonna happen. Freeze! Get down on the ground. Who sent you? Weight Watchers, I canceled my membership. <laughs> the lady just reported a break-in by a guy wearing a red hooded sweatshirt. But I live in the building. Looks like we got ourselves a lazy thief. <laughs> hey! Hey, that kid's wearing a red hoodie. Why don't you stop him? We only need one. <laughs> hey! Hey, man, what's going on? What y'all doing with my man Dwayne? Hey, you're Flex Washington. I, I watch you every night. You know this guy? Yeah, you fellas must be new. He lives right there. Oh. Sorry, Mr. Washington. Flip flat! <laughs> what you mean, flat at? That too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll. I, man, man, I don't believe that. There's a robbery in the building and security comes and jumps all over my back. But then to make you feel good to know they acted so quickly, we gotta remember those guys ain't Christmas. <laughs> Sometimes in the snow, you can feel all my When there's nobody around uh, oh yeah. I'll be there to take me then Why don't you know where you're going? Maybe you can get some more Maybe one, 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 Can't nobody break this bond Maybe one, 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 Oh, yes. <laughs> a Canadian club. <laughs> this is the life, Hank, I'm telling you. Beautiful sunshine at the most exclusive country club in Maryland. <sighs> Why didn't I join this place 10 years ago? What stopped me? Could it be the sign that said no smoking, no loitering, no Negroes? Dwayne, behave. Now that you got profiled by those security guards, let's not make this guess who's coming to tea time. Hey, thanks for inviting me to tag along with you boys. With a Z. <laughs> Man, did you hear that? Britney Spears called us boys with the Z. Man, that's straight up racism. Hey, man, don't use the R word in front of the W P. Woo! Nice shot, Flex. Oh man, you know you should think about going pro. You're gonna need a new job after the new regime cleans house. Ah, stop stressing. Hank, they sold the station over a month ago and we all still have our jobs. Yeah, well, the evaluation team is coming in and where it is every time they buy a new station, their goal is to broaden the audience. You know, younger, sexier, whiter. Dwayne, don't use the W word in front of the W people. They're very sensitive about it. Um, <laughs> just how young and how sexy are you talking, Hank? Because I'll drop a button. <laughs> and we'd appreciate it. Hank, you better watch yourself. You know what, Hank? I'm not so worried, man. So they want to broaden the audience to get more advertising. I transcend demographics. Everybody likes me. <laughs> hey, nobody's safe, Flex. Some young MTV producer comes in with his quick cuts and his shaky cameras. I'm right back on that cruise ship. <laughs> Didn't know I was an old song and dance man, did ya? <laughs> Why are you looking at me? 
Oh, 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 I get it. You and I are supposed to relate on a song and dance level, huh? Well, let me sing an old golf spiritual for you. Swing low, oh, drive and I... Dwayne, <laughs> Dwayne, come on, come on. It's your turn, isn't it? Man, you gotta stop. You're embarrassing me, man. When are you gonna let this thing go? I can't let it go, Flex. Man, it hurts. Those security guys threw me down right in front of my own house. I felt less than human. Guess you wouldn't understand that. Why wouldn't I, Dwayne? I'm a black man. Man, you're a black man who's a celebrity. They ask you for an autograph, not an alibi. So what if I'm a celebrity? That has nothing to do with it at all. I worked hard for what I got. And look where it's got me. Now hit the ball. People are waiting. Let him wait. I waited 400 years for this tea. <laughs> the truth is, my brother, racism doesn't strike people like you. No, uh-uh, no. It strikes people like... <laughs> Wake up! Hey, wake up, man! Dwayne, are you okay? Wake up! Doc, is he okay? Let's see if we can get him on his feet. Can you get up, son? Oh, hi. Hi, buddy. You alright? Well, I'm glad he's okay. I wouldn't want anyone to find out that I'm not really a doctor. That was cool. You can see his skeleton and everything. I wonder if his fingernails were black before this. Hey, D Dwayne, you okay? Yeah, I think so. Uh, All right, everybody, it's nothing to see here. Just the guy who got struck by lightning. All right, you can go ahead. All right. Right. Ah. Brianna, can you check and see if there's any more mini Snickers left, Brianna? <laughs> Crazy, you have to stop saying everybody's name twice. Crazy. <laughs> Sorry, Brianna, but that's what you have to do to ward off the phenomenon of four. If you start with the name, you end with the name. Brianna? It also wards off the guys. Not that you need any help with that. Sure, make fun. Don't protect yourself. But Arnez, Dwayne getting accosted by those security guards was the first horrible event in the P of F, Arnez. Speaking of spirit embarrassing us in public, I can't hang out with you girls tonight. I'm chilling with Josh. Wait a minute. Josh Josh? My ex Josh? You must be joshing. <laughs> Arnaz, I thought you two were sworn enemies, Arnaz. Not anymore. I mean, he likes music. I like music. Girls love him. Girls love me. Why would we hang? Mm -hmm. You know and I know and they know. This has to do with me. You know. <laughs> What's up, Arnaz? Ah, uh, what up, Josh Shizzle? Yo, I met two girls at the hot dog stand. They said they'd go to the movies with us, so we better hurry and catch up. <laughs> Wait a minute. My ex-boyfriends can't hang out together? That means they'll talk about me. Brianna, I see that Josh and Arnaz hanging out together is horrifying you, which makes number two in the P of F, Brianna. <laughs> Uh, it's a combination of a bad gene pool and being struck by lightning. You know what? Uh, let me get you some aspirin, man. Do you know what this is? My daddy trying to get rid of the aspirin before it expires? <laughs> no. The phenomenon of four. Number... <laughs> hey, Arnaz. The girls are here. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Shantae. I hope he knows the blonde chick is his, because I do love the sisters. Yeah, Josh, we all know you love the sisters. What, he said it, not me. He didn't say anything. Yes, he did. You said you love the sisters. How did that little man know what I was thinking? Let's see if he can read this. Ooga booga snot snot. Ooga booga snot snot. Hey, hey, Hank. <laughs> You're not dressed like that because of your evaluation, are you? No, no, no. I always dress like this when I'm big pimping, yo. <laughs> hey, 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 Janae, what's that dark cloud hanging over my favorite weather woman? I just had my evaluation. They let me go, Flex. What? Oh, but everybody loves you. I mean, who's gonna say, make your day with Janae? <laughs> I've got one last forecast for you. There's a storm headed your way, brother. And if the thunder don't get you, then the whitening will. 
Colleen, hmm. did you hear? They just let Janae go. Oh, too bad. But I'm staying. <laughs> and so are Becky, Chad, Chip, and Ernie. <laughs> I have got some worst cramps ever. Oh! Shh! <laughs> Flex, I need to talk to you. My head's not right. Uh, we know that. <laughs> Look, there's Dave Smith, the guy who's gonna evaluate me. Now, look, I'll talk to you later. I have to show the man who's the man. Flex, go, go. I'm Flex Washington, Mr. Smith. Uh-huh. Yeah, nice to meet you, too, sir. Can I talk to you now? Dwayne, this is a bad time. I think I'm gonna lose my job. You and Janae were right. They're gonna wipe me out. Man, then we both have problems. Because I hear white people. <laughs> I have to be out of here by four. Or did I tell him five? I need better clothes. Flex always looks nice. I'm fat. No, you're not. Yes, you are. Face it, you're a pig. <laughs> you're beautiful. You're not fat, you're just a well-fed swan. <laughs> you know what, Flex? I'm starting to think that this power is not a curse. It's a gift. Cost me all my nose hairs. <laughs> but a gift nonetheless. Man, enough with the gift. You're brain damaged. <laughs> and I'm stressed out about my job. I thought I was safe until the wicked wind of broadening blew my way. Oh, uh, my brother, I can help you break that wind. <laughs> I have a gift. Allow me to demonstrate. That's Ernie Why Brillstein. Can't you make friends? He's a loner, I mean, I expert friends. marksman. Right now, he's thinking of something street to say to us. Guys. Like, uh, what's it look uh, like? Hey, guys, what's up? What's it look like? What's happening? What's it look like? <laughs> hey, guys. What's it look like? <laughs> I am so down. Ooh, spooky. I wonder if oh, eyeliner hey, will comes, make hey, me look younger. I wonder if he knows who's gay. next on the chopping block. No, he's wondering whether or not eyeliner would make him look younger or gay. <laughs> hey, fellas, have you seen the makeup lady? Oh, there she is. Hey, Merce. Look, do you have any masculine eyeliner? <laughs> See that lady over there? Uh, uh, her pantyhose are bunching up, and she's deciding whether or not to uh, adjust. Okay, <laughs> but don't stare, don't stare. Oh, I can't I'm waiting for the perfect stand opportunity, I and them up. we have a tug. Uh. <laughs> that was beautiful, Dwayne. Do you know what this means? Yes, it means I can use my power to unite the races and create world peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do that tomorrow, but today you're gonna save my job. Wipe me out? Huh? Well, right, Black Adam. Give me some. <laughs> Here, take the microphone. Now, I'm gonna wear this while you hide in the closet and read Dave's mind and tell me what he's thinking. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna go to the conference room and make space for you in the closet. All right. Look at this carjacker taking his time. Hurry up with the bagel, my brother. Tick tock, tick tock. Who is this guy anyway? Haven't we reached our quota yet? Oh, uh, tisk, tisk, Colleen. You shouldn't judge someone before you get a chance to know them. What are you talking about? You just call that man a carjacker because he's black. Oh, my God. <laughs> All I'm saying is, you should judge someone by the content of their character, not the content of their skin. Uh, I, I think it's the color of their skin. So would I be wrong in calling you a stupid black man? Uh, I'm stupid because I'm stupid, not because I'm black. No. That's not the yeah. job! Of... That's Josh and Arnea. Stop salting the room and get the door. Oh, and prepare them for my entrance. For what? My entrance, fool. Once they see me and all my <laughs> fineness, they have no choice but to fight over me again, and all this friendship nonsense will be over with. Uh, hey. What she want? Nothing, Arnez. She just wants all of us to sit down and talk. <clears throat> Whatever. <gasps> Oops. I forgot to say your name twice. Shuck. <laughs> Here's Bree Bree. My uh -oh. eyes. <clears throat> yes, yes, I know, I know. You're being blinded by all this oh. fineness. <laughs> There's no spirit through salt in her eyes. <laughs> hey, you look nice. Whoa, whoa, you look better than nice. You look hot. No, don't fight over me like I'm some rare, precious trophy. What? Oh, get over yourself. We're friends. We're not gonna fight over you. 
Yes, you are. <laughs> Come on, Josh. I know you love the sisters. This is so sad. This really is Brianna. <gasps> Oops, Shala. <laughs> Fine, be friends then and just talk about me behind my back. We don't talk about you. You don't? Nope. You mean not even to compare my soft, gentle kisses? Uh-uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ernest. I can't do this anymore. Brianna, I love you. Really? <laughs> Josh, I'm about to call the police because you are a killer! I can't believe they're really friends. That means they're actually really over me, and I'm no longer the center of their world. Yeah. Yeah, and you made a complete fool of yourself in that sexy outfit. And I got to see it. <gasps> the phenomenon of four is complete. Chocolate. Hey, took a little jolt. Are you all right, man? Oh, yeah. Ooh. I think so. Do you mind if I take you to the hospital after my interview? <laughs> oh, thank you, man. Thanks. I think they're on to me, Flex. Everybody stop thinking. <laughs> Are you sure, man? Try somebody else. Nothing. She's a blonde, man. Try him. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, man. I'm starting to think the shock from the toaster made me lose all my power. Oh, here. Bite this. It'll recharge you. Man, Flex! Man, you would risk my life just to get through your interview? Oh, all right, then. Come on. I'll put it on a bagel. Now, Flex, <laughs> listen to yourself. Did you learn nothing from my experience? The power to change ultimately comes from within. Oh. How endearing. Those words could, could save the world. But not my job. <laughs> Dwayne, I need to know what Dave's thinking, man. What am I gonna do without you? Flex, what you've always done. Just be yourself. And don't let your fear of racism get in your way. Okay, team, let's keep up the good work. All right, Flex. This is all pretty standard. Look, we'll just start with a few questions. But the bottom line is, we have to make some cuts. Money's tight, and we're trimming the fat. So, unfortunately. Uh, don't say it. I'm sorry, Flex, but it's a reality in these economic times. So I'm sorry hey, to wait, say... Wait, wait, Before you go any further, I have something to say. Go on, Flex. Now, I've been so wrapped up in this company's reputation for broadening that I let my fears get the best of me. So before you evaluate me, let me evaluate me. <laughs> I, I'm the best sportscaster in town. Maybe even the world. Yeah, yeah, I said it. The world. <laughs> See, I bring in the exclusives. I bring in the numbers. And sometimes, I even bring in the donuts. <laughs> I'm Flex Washington. And people love me. All people. Flat app. Flip flat. Anyway, Flex, like I was saying, due to the cutbacks, we're limiting cafeteria vouchers to entrees only. Are you okay with that? Uh, yeah, I, I pay for my pudding. Great, thanks for coming in. So, that's it? I I'm not fired? No. But there is one more thing. Look, I would, uh, I'd like you to lead a seminar on racial tolerance. It seems our anchor woman, Colleen, has a bit of a problem. Is there anything you'd like to discuss? Well, uh, earlier when I said good morning, uh, you blew right past me, so I, I thought I was out of a job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Flex. Look, until I make my decisions, I treat everybody the same, <laughs> with disdain. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, can I just ask why you fired Janae? It's uh, not company policy to divulge that information. But between us, she racked up $5,000 in personal long-distance calls on her office phone. Oh, y'all check those? Because <laughs> I caught her making personal long-distance phone calls from my office phone, too. <laughs> she was calling my mama. <laughs> Wait. 
why are you dressed like Dark Kent? <laughs> for moments just like that. This looks like a job for... TM? Tubby Middle? No. <laughs> Make way for... Tolerance Man! <laughs> I'm here to teach you about tolerance. I see that you thought that black man was going to steal your purse. You should get to know somebody before you judge them. Communication is the key to tolerance. <laughs> Sweetie, is everything okay? I don't know. He said something about stealing my purse. <laughs> tolerance. Man! Seeing your old man out there, boy, I was shaking and baking, giving and going, showing and both. <laughs> okay, well, to me, it looks like you were crashing and burning. <laughs> Come on, hit me with the rock. Oh, all right. Ow! Oh, baby, you all right? I don't know. How does it look? Oh, no, I knocked out your tooth. Where is it? <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> That's not even funny. I was getting my story ready for your school counselor about how you fell. Come on, Daddy. It's Halloween. I'm just having a little fun. Hey, you've been having Halloween fun with me all week. Now stop busting my chops and go bust some suds. All right, all right. No more pranks. Oh, dang, there's a fork in the garbage disposal. Ah! Oh, gee, Captain, I hope my baby man was a hand. Perfect specimen right under your nose. Check it out. We're hitting the stair faster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I cannot believe he would move into my building. Relax, man. We're not even sure that it's him. What's going on, Daddy? Nothing, Puddin'. This is all about Elliot Templeton. Elliot Templeton? The basketball star? Gather around, children. Let me tell you a story. <laughs> now, see, Elliot and Fletch are longtime rivals. Drafted in the NBA the same year. Elliot goes on to become a multi-millionaire and the pitch man for Count Chocula. Yeah. <laughs> now, Flex blows out his knee in the second season and ends up living the rest of his life as just... Well, your daddy, that's, that's it. <laughs> Look, Dwayne, he is always trying to steal my life. He's like a, a hoochie in the VIP section getting buzzed off my champagne. <laughs> Next time I see him, I'm gonna rip his eyes out, I'm gonna pull his legs off, and I'm gonna kick him in the butt with his own... <laughs> Elliot Templeton, oh, he ain't paying no bills for me. He ain't doing nothing for me. Elliot, my dog. Hey! <laughs> Wait, yeah. I thought you said they hated each other. Men don't hate face to face. <laughs> oh, man, it's good to see you. How long has it been? Too long, man. When I heard that you lived in this building, I figured if it's good enough for Flex Washington, it's almost good enough for me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hey, you know, I heard San Antonio traded you to the Wizards. Mm -hmm. Apparently, the Spurs wanted to win. That's just what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot. Was, was like... Did you see Jordan today? Oh, yeah, 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 in practice. You know, I'm the only one that can stick him. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Did he sweat on you? Can, can you lay a little of that on me? <laughs> I see the little guy is still on a short yellow bus. <laughs> but look here. If you guys... Want to meet the man? Why don't you come to my Halloween party tomorrow night? Oh! Daddy, I have got to go to that 
party. Oh, no, 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 no. I am sure there are no kids allowed. Oh, they can come. Okay, my kid's not allowed. <laughs> but, Daddy, please. Look, sweetie, how many times do I have to tell you? I don't party with my daughter. That only happens with people who live in trailer parks or carnival folk. <laughs> Girl, you know I love some peanuts. <laughs> Happy Halloween, sucker. <laughs> you better hope I don't marry your father because you're going straight to boarding school in the Alps. Somebody better tell Billie Jean to beat it because the king of pop is off the wall. How? Ow! <laughs> Dripping on the carpet. <laughs> the curl activator helps with my moves. See, it's moonwalking juice. <laughs> okay, well, please put some cones out because somebody's gonna slip and fall. <laughs> so, Michael, baby, uh, who's throwing this party? Oh, just some guy I hate. That is just why I'm taking you there to show Ooh. you off. Oh. Well, I guess I better go push everything up. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this party's the talk of the town. <laughs> okay, guys, let's go. Now that everything's all pushed up, and uh, this afro is starting to itch. <laughs> Trick or treat! Oh, look, it's Cisco in the Black Blossom. <laughs> Too late to invite us to the party and be a cool dad. Oh, yes, it is. Peace out, losers. <laughs> Flex, man, flex. I just met all three Bills. Bill Gates, Bill Clinton, and Bill Bellamy. <laughs> this party is off and easy. Yeah, but is Bill Cosby here, huh? But I guess it's not for Jeezy. <laughs> Back to the punch bowl. I think I dropped my afro pick in there. Elliot. He's bad. Or is he bad? Man, who's bad? I... So where'd you get your costume? Celebrity costumes off the internet, straight from Hollywood. <laughs> Where'd you get yours from? <laughs> from Michael. Baby. Thank you, baby. Mwah. Elliot, I'd like you to meet the soul sister who brings me love and peace. Tanya! <laughs> Elliot! You two know each other? Oh, we, uh, sort of dated. <laughs> Elliot, Tanya, Tanya, you are looking good, girl. I haven't seen you since that weekend in Madrid. <laughs> Olé, Flex. <laughs> Olay Flex, huh? You could have told me. You told me the guy throwing the party was some guy you hated. You never said it was Elliot. You have told me if you knew? No. <laughs> Honey, listen, don't walk away from me when I'm talking to you. <laughs> okay, I wonder what that was all about. She probably told him she dated Elliot, too. <laughs> hey, man. That's my jacket. I mean, sir, how you doing? Howdy, partner. All right, where's Brianna? Uh, uh, Brianna who? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. All right. Hello. Hey, sweetie, what you doing? Uh, uh you chilling? Watching MTV? Oh, really? Uh, what's all that noise? It's, um... 
It's, it's bad connection. I, I can't even hear what you're saying. I'm, I'm losing you. You found me. This is not fair. They're over there having the greatest time in their life, and I'm stuck over here with two nobodies. No offense, y'all know I love y'all. Phantom and the French made in the bedroom. Oh, let me see. Oh, this looks like it's about to get NC-17. We shouldn't be looking at this. Oh, yes, we should. I'll get the chairs. I'll pop the mm -hmm. Whoa. <gasps> What's wrong? What did we miss? The Phantom just murdered the French maid. Why are you just trying to scare us? <laughs> Thank you, Elliot. <laughs> Flex, man, that Elliot sure knows how to throw a party. Look at this. Salmon mousse, Moet, and Chandon. <laughs> Pastry stuff with things I can't even pronounce. Spin notch. <laughs> Oh, well, if you like Elliot so much, maybe you should be his best friend. Nah, I can never get a guy like that. <laughs> Look, Dwayne, this guy's always trying to steal a piece of my life. Everything I've ever had, he's always won. Every game I won, it was my thing to throw my jersey into the crowd. What does he do? He throws his sneakers into the crowd. I tried that, and the old lady had to get 62 stitches to close up her lip. <laughs> Damn, Flex. I've never seen you this jealous. And I'm not jealous, okay? I'm too cool for that. Hey, baby. Where have you been, huh, with Elliot? <laughs> I was in the bathroom. In his bathroom? Don't you think that's a little bit intimate? You know what? I don't like you like this. I think I'm gonna go over there and talk to that mime. I'm sure he's got a better conversation. <laughs> hey, man, don't you think you're a little rough on Tanya? Oh, you mean... Elliot's Tanya. Beneath that itchy, unkempt afro lies the heart of a beautiful young woman who just needs a little love. You're right, man. I need to relax. Hey, come on, man. Just breathe. Oh, no. Thanks, man, for being my good friend, dog. Oh, come on now. You can always count on me. You know, I'd never leave your side. Hey, Dwayne, a friend of mine wants to buy a used station wagon for his housekeeper. You gotta go. <laughs> You've done well for yourself, Flex. Great girlfriend, great career. I hate to say it, but... I want to be just like you when I hang up my sneaks. Well, you know, it's a long, hard road. Before I got this gig, I had to pay my dues. I had to do the dirty work. Well, you know, I'm retiring after this season. The old knee is going out. You know how that is. But I got a little scoop for you. I'm all in, bro. I just spoke to my agent. He set up an interview for me to be the next lead sports anchor at WYNX. <laughs> My W Y N X, but I have that today. Dad, 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 there has just been a murder. The Phantom murder right over there. You killed the French maid in the bedroom. Brianna, please look. I don't have any time for your pranks. Go home. No, but Daddy, I'm telling the truth. Spirit on that tell him what he saw. I saw Brianna get very scared. Uh huh. Which made us very scared. <laughs> Go now. But Dad, it's not a prank. You gotta believe me. He's a killer. The only thing he's killing is the electric slide. I bet you the real Michael Jackson would believe it. <laughs> Hold up, man. Who's gonna move this time with little Bo Peep? Oh, Peep the Cleave on Farm Girl. <laughs> oh, God, he's leading her to the bedroom. Don't go in there, girl. You're in danger. <laughs> One thing he can't take from me. I'm the king of pop tonight. Oh, oh look what he's doing to her. We gotta do something. We could do like my grandma does a drink till we have no memory of it. <laughs> Get your hands off her, you animal! Shh. I 
think it hurts you. What makes you say that? Because he's pointing at us, and it's like he's saying, I'm going to kiss you kids. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> something he can't beat me at. I'm a better Michael Jackson. Oh. Hey, what are you talking about? Elliot and I are done. That was two years ago. We're over. Finito. This ain't about you. Oh. <laughs> okay, he's headed to our side of the building. Oh, my God. Unless he's going to do laundry, we're in trouble. We're going to die. I should have been the one with the NBA career. I, I should have been the one rubbing elbows with the rich and famous. I should be the one kicking it with Count Chocula. <laughs> this is about me and how I never realized my dreams. What are you talking about? It's just that whenever I see him, he reminds me of what I could have been. What you could have been. Look at what you are. Flex, I know you and I know Elliot. He's stuck up, he's materialistic, he's insecure, and quite frankly, he's boring. He's got nothing on the flat app, man. I guess I pretty much made a fool of myself, huh? Yeah, pretty much. But that's all a part of your charm, and I think you're sweet. Mm -hmm. Keep that up, and I won't stop till you get enough. Oh! Now open the door. He behind the door. It's always like that in the movies, bro. Check. I don't see feet. I said we get out of here while we got the chance. <laughs> That's the fan of guy that Brianna was talking about. Hold on, baby. Daddy's coming. I saw you kids staring at me. We was fine on you. We ain't never seen you before a day in our lives. Yeah, as a matter of fact, we've never seen anything. We're all blind. Who said that? We both been blind. You better keep your mouth shut. Get away from them. Get them. Two women. I saw my whole 14 years flash before my eyes. You are a good daddy. What are you talking about? I never killed anybody. Oh, yeah, then what did you come up here for, huh? Let's see who's behind this mask. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> a murderer with bad skin. Boy, you need to catch <laughs> Look like you need some backup. So I'm backing up. Elliot, help me. <laughs> Stuart! Flex, why are you manhandling my accountant? Because your accountant murdered little old people and a French maid. The French maid is my wife. She had a little too much to drink, so I put her in a cab and sent her home. Oh, yeah? Well, where's little old people, huh? Where's little old people? Where's little old people? <laughs> Stuart, you weren't fooling around with Delilah again, were you? My wife was gone, the bedroom was open. Do the math. <laughs> oh. Sorry, man. Sorry, it's a little rough on you. But that's just how I handle my business. Let's do it. Let's talk. Hey, everybody's welcome to come back to the party. Elton John is going to do a duet with whoever's willing. Oh. I know all the words that don't go breaking my heart. 
Dibs on the kidney knee part. <laughs> Guess I'll be seeing you around, Flex. Hey, you know, I want to apologize for my behavior. I was tripping, you know? Yeah, you were. But you've always been emotional. <laughs> well, that's what made me the ball player with a lot of heart, you know? But that's in the past. <laughs> Let's just bury the hatchet, dog. But, uh, I am glad that you moved into my building. And I'm also glad that you're not trying to steal my life, you know? Oh, sweet, naive flex. <laughs> I am trying to steal your job. And your life. Hey, Bree Bree! Wait up for your Uncle Elliot! <laughs> but I that did I. <laughs> There's something I have to tell you, Brianna. I'm not like other dads. I know. That's what makes you so cool. You don't understand. See, I... Oh, oh, oh. Daddy, are you okay? Daddy's scaring me. Brianna! Oh. 